I'm Katie O'Malley and I'm the Deputy Digital Editor at LUK and I'm going to give you a quick recap of a week in my life. So on Monday morning I set my alarm for 5.45 and I get up, get changed in all my fitness gear and walk to the gym for a 6.15 hit class. It's really important for me and my mental well-being to make sure that I've worked out first thing in the morning and then come back and you're ready for the day. At seven o'clock, I walk back home, have a shower, make my iced coffee, and I get ready for the day ahead. So at eight o'clock, I'm ready, I'm sitting down at my laptop, and I'm ready to go. First thing I'll do is I'll go through all of my emails, making sure that I'm up to date with everything that's happening for the week. At lunchtime, I'll go and have a walk by my local canal. Um, I think it's so important to get out of the flat when I can. So I try and go out for a walk at lunchtime, or go and read my book in a local cafe. And I think it's really good to be able to have the flexibility of using a phone, catching up with friends, checking emails, but you're not stuck inside the four walls of a flat constantly. My working environment's changed so much over the past 17 months. So I've gone from working in an office, on a laptop, surrounded by all of the L team, to working on my own, in my flat. So it's been quite challenging at times, but fortunately I've been able to keep in contact with my team, on my tablet and on my devices, just making sure that we're checking in on each other and just making sure that you know our work is going as smoothly as it can be during the pandemic. So on a Tuesday I'll do all of my video edits. It could be reviewing raw footage, or it could be looking at final edits and seeing that we've got everything that we need so it can go out on social media and on our online website. And then I'll speak to one of our mentees from our L Mentorship Programme and we'll talk about you know, what aspirations they have, what they want to learn, how I can provide my insight and give them advice on how to progress in their career. And it's not only one way as well, we learn from them. We learn the latest things when it comes to TikTok or the latest social media challenges or actually how does social media work? How do you get followers? How do you improve engagement? You know, it's not a one-way interaction, it has to be two-way because we need to learn from them as well. On a Wednesday, I head into the office and have a meeting with the team. We'll be looking at how many features we've got coming up, who needs to be assigned to what, and when our deadlines are. So it's really important for us all to get together. During that time, we will look at edits for videos, and I'll assign each member of the team to certain bits of that video, or contacting certain people, or following up emails, and make sure that we can plan ahead for the few weeks or months that are coming. So when it comes to multiple uploads for pictures, whether we're working at Fashion Week or it could be a Met Gala or even the Oscars overnight. So you need to make sure that technology is not going to fail you at the last moment. What Huawei is doing is making sure that productivity and flexibility is key. So when I'm doing a presentation with my colleagues, it's so difficult to kind of share your screen normally and, and make sure, can you see this? It's having that kind of dual function, which I think is so rare when it comes to technology. I mean, I'm the editor, I need to be able to provide really fast edits, but also not only fast edits, but edits that make sense for the freelancer if I've commissioned a piece. It's so important to have that seamless kind of essential workflow. On Thursdays, I like to dedicate the day to writing all of my Digital Voices content. So this will be opinion-based, kind of zeitgeisty pieces, whether it's talking about women's careers before motherhood, it could be talking about funny little habits that we've gained during lockdown, and then we'll present it in kind of a, a funny, very intelligent, but L voice that our readers are gonna like. Now with online content, you need to be writing that content within an hour. So it means that we need to be up to date 24 seven with everything that's happening across the world, whether it's celebrity news or politics. So contact is key for us to ensure that we're providing up to date and accurate news stories for our readers. On a Friday, I dedicate the working morning to editing our Photoshop imagery for all of our lead images for Ecom. So I'll be talking to our Hearst Institute and our writers from L, taking in all their images and seeing what product images they've got, making sure we've got correct metadata and SEO alt text on them. So I'll be looking at all the different products that are on that kind of white background, making sure they've got drop shadows and putting those in articles so when you click on it, you see all of the different products that you'll want to buy. In the afternoon, I'll follow up on emails, I'll reply to everything, I'll see what my to-do list is for the next week, make sure we've tied up any loose ends and have a look at all the deadlines 
and then I know when I sit down on Monday morning after the weekend, I know what's gonna be happening and I'm not panicking and thinking, oh no, what have I got to do this week? And then when I close my laptop, I'm going out for drinks with my friends or I'm going out for dinner and making sure that I've got that real work-life balance after a really hectic, busy week at L.